Shorty was grand. So how did the label White Nation come about? Just, just, cause, you know, the, the name, ear motherfucker, just, you know, it's everybody, it's, it's a, it's a, whole, it's a gang of us, you know, it's, it's a whole nation, you know what I'm saying, and we stand firm, and shit, just, and it's how it came, white nation, all the motherfuckers thought it was like some racial shit, shit, but <laughs> yeah, I got I it, that it's, a lot. it's controversy, mm -hmm. but. But they don't know the meaning behind it till they, you know, hear the music. They just listen to the music, they'll catch on, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what year did you start it? I started, I got my shit incorporated 2016. Okay. 2016, I got it incorporated. The new year. As soon as the new year came in, I got it incorporated. That was my new year's resolution. That's what's up. Yeah. So how long have you guys been rapping? I've been rapping since I bought my first Bone Thugs and Harmony tape in '92. I started rapping then, <laughs> playing around in the kitchen on the holidays. No lie, I was goddamn it. I was um, I was at my auntie crib and shit. We used to be watching Lil Boosie, Lil Bo Boosie Badass and shit. He had to be like 13 or some shit. He was saying some crazy ass shit like he had bought his mama a crib or Durango. That was a long ass time ago. This is before I even. Even thought about rapping myself, but he was the he was kind of my influence. I'm like, man, I want to be like, cause he was little as hell. Like, I want to be like him right there. You feel? Mm -hmm. There was some old ass Boosie badass, some shit you you probably never heard, but shit, I ain't gonna lie, Boosie was one of my influence. I've been rapping since I was a kid, like playing around and shit, but I never really took it serious till like 2016. Okay. I got a question for you, White. So you say you listen to Bone. Did you have a time to us? Did you ever start off rapping? Man, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's ironic you said that. I, I, I definitely did. I, 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 man, I don't watch the whole music game evolve, man. And I just, you know, just stayed in the mix. You know, this shit always been my passion, you know what I'm saying? I always felt like, damn. I tell my mama, I'm gonna be a rapper. She like, <coughs> You ain't gonna be no rapper, I don't want you to be no rapper and shit. You know, she thought it was bad or whatever, but she with the program now because she believe, you know what I'm saying? Right. I believe, we believe, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, just kept working, you know? So you said you uh, knew White Life before you started rapping, so far as you two guys' relationship, are you just partnering doing this music or is he signed to White Nation? Yeah, he, yeah. I'm so you signed. officially signed? I'm signed to White Nation, and, and I got my own shit going on, so. Yeah, he yeah. signed under me, I'm the parent label. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, yeah. we together, you know, okay. as one, you know what I'm saying? So WBMG, White Nation, you know, that's what he got, you know, that's his label, he signed. You know yeah, saying? we ain't gonna talk about that right now, but <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> I'm saying, so, so when it comes to making music, like how long do it take you guys to make songs together? Let me tell you something. It took me probably like two months to do a song with this nigga. And we was <laughs> all we were around. We was always around each other. Like I always did songs in the studio. He had doing songs in the studio. He was giving me like a Jay Z shoulder on my mom. I'm like, this nigga, what the fuck wrong with this nigga? <laughs> but it took, I ain't gonna lie. When, when, when we did that one song, it clicked. It was like, all right, we got to feel me, start doing songs, you mm -hmm. feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what, man, we know what we need to do. It was Christmas coming up. And when people think about Christmas, man, it be snow. Right. When we think about snow, it's white. So I'm like, you know what we need to do? We need to put out a little EP, you feel me? Mm -hmm. White Christmas, because that's how we feeling. That's how we coming, you feel me? Just to put out some more. And all them songs is old, so don't, don't, man. They was old? All them songs is old, so don't play with us, man. That's how we bumming. That was we just after, so that, that shit. shit was just after the, the laptop right there, man. That shit ain't nothing, man. We just do all that we just put that shit out. Yeah. You feel me? And and I, and, and I ain't gonna lie, I been getting good responses. You feel me? Yeah. I look for the negativity yeah. too, though. I look for the negativity, but you know, I like both the positive, positive and the negative side. Of it. I can take it. You know, I, I like work good under pressure. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what we do. We work good under pressure because we put that CD out. When I said that, it was probably like two weeks, and like two weeks ahead or some shit like that. Even when I dropped my first mixtape, it was probably like a week then. Yeah, we just, yo, let's do it. Let's do it. Saturday. Like, mm -hmm. Let's do it. We, we got that shit done.
<laughs> for real, like we get that shit done at the last minute. Doing all the, you know, photography work, vlogs, and videos. You know, me, you know it's like all this beats recording. So, what's a good session for y'all guys? Like, how many records do you guys put out? I mean, finish in one day. Me, honestly, I, I do a record every day. Sometimes, if not every day or every other day, I be so fucking, you know, working outside the studio, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I be having so much trying to, you know, keep the money coming in so we can keep pushing, you know what I'm saying? And shit, me, I got done it. The most I ever did in a day, probably like four to five songs in one day. But at the minimum, when I come in, it's like two two songs at the minimum with me. Anytime I come to the studio, and I got and this, I got all access to it because it's it's mine. You feel me? So music ain't nothing. It's like music ain't music ain't even the issue. This ain't even what we thinking about right now. We talking about we trying to we thinking about the grind and push that make motherfuckers do this shit. You feel me? Cause I can make music all day. Uh -huh. I can make music all day, for real. And I got hot ass producers that's gonna help me make this music. You feel me? I got Get 'Em Louie, hot ass Chicago producer. I got a, I got uh, Zeta Savage. He a hot ass young Chicago producer. I got Cicero 808 Mafia. He a hot ass producer. Yeah. You feel me? So I got producers that's gonna help me. So music ain't the, it's just the, the grind, the, the push, grind. the. You feel me? That's what we. That's what we on. We so on. can you guys describe the, the sound that you putting out right now? It's saucy, man. Like, like, it's it's us. Yeah, it's a West Side if, shit. If you, when you hear it, you, you go from the like, streets, yeah. you you gonna know what it is. Yeah, you man. Know like even when we our first our first single was a uh, dream. Yeah, that was like that was like if you if you don't if you don't know Mac Eleven if you listen to Junior Year that was my life. Like that's me talking about my life. What I what I what I've been through. That's me talking about my life. No no fraud, no phony. That's all facts. Like you wanna know me? Let's the dream yeah. Right. Like yes, yes. It's definitely drug dealer music. Yeah, it's like right. it's on some it's on some basically it's on some swag, D boy type yeah. shit, you know. On some on some Chicago West Side type shit. That's all. Mm -hmm. So do you guys freestyle? Yeah, I'm freestyle. He do. I I, I write. I'm a good writer. I write too, but I go in that motherfucking freestyle the whole song. You feel more comfortable freestyling? Sometimes. He freestyle that song Ray Goo on that. I think it's number one. Yeah. Oh, I think. Yeah, he freestyle I'm Ray Goo. freestyle that song. Yeah, he freestyle. No, matter of fact, I'm lying. I lied to y'all because Ray Goo was our first new song you put on that motherfucker. Everything else is old. But Ray Goo was our first and he freestyle yeah. that shit. Freestyle that shit. I ain't even want that shit to go on now. He didn't like it, but once once the DJ heard it, it was like a whole nother vibe. Yeah. And it was like, man, we gotta put it on there. The White The White Christmas was hosted by DJ Amaris. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you guys working closely Shout out. together? Shout out yeah. to DJ Amaris. That's my uh -huh. motherfucking nigga, man. I send my condolences to the whole Chief Key Fred on there, man. What gets happened today, man? Cause he he with that movement, man. That whole little move. So shout out DJ Amaris, man. Keep your head up. Yes, sir. And you were just talking about the song Junior. Um, that's the first song off the project. To me, I thought it set the tone all for the project because it's telling you basically since junior had like what you been saying like what you've been going through yeah yeah and, like throughout the song it could i mean the project continue on yeah um to me the project was like well put together every song sounded different yeah different yeah, vibes yeah, and the yeah. lyrics weren't the same yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it right. got to be like that and it was like i said it was them shits we had already in the computer and i was I, it was my doing, so give me all the credibility about that white Christmas, man. <laughs> he yeah, didn't really want to do it. Man, I ain't even want to do this shit, man. Really I I'll told see, you be acting like JC around this bitch. Bro, he didn't really want to do it, so we did it. Yeah. We got some good comments, and it's and it's actually going crazy. I'm glad right we now. did it. It's on, it's on 92.3. I used to spend it. Shout out to 92.3, man. Sean D. I know me, everybody, man. When my people die, you would, everybody. So you guys said that those was old songs. Like out of all the old songs you had, like how many did you choose from? Was it a selection of twenty or more? Yeah, uh, yeah, we yeah. Can say that. Yeah, it was. Cause we got enough to put out another one. <laughs> yeah, we actually dropping another one in March, April type shit. Spring, we drop another tape. Do you got a title for that new tape? 
I ain't thought of no title. Yeah, I, I don't know. This guy I said something. Before, we ain't gonna, no. we, we, we'll think of something. We'll, we'll figure it out. We just know we're going to drop in the spring sometime. Yeah, and we'll we got two solo tapes. I'm dropping the solo tape after that. He dropping the I'm solo dropping tape. Dope, dope, no fry on the way. On the way. Real soon. So, like, besides your, you two guys' solo songs, like, what's your favorite song of you two guys together? Re-Rock. He like re-rock. I like, I like I ain't gonna lie, my mama ain't got no ain't got no favorite. I like the whole shit. I love the whole tape as well, but like it's shit. just something about re rock give me that feel, like, you know. Was it was it just the um the, the vibe of the beat the sample or was it a little bit more? Cause I know that that, that and classy both too. You know, it ain't that part of part, it's a classic, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, and I just felt we I just felt it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's it, real, it, it's yeah. authentic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of our music. I ain't gonna lie. That's the, that's the feeling I get with all our music because I know it's authentic. You feel uh -huh. me? That's the difference between a lot of our music. It's real authentic. It's like we yeah, telling yeah. you our life. We telling you what's going on. Yeah. You feel me? Everybody say they real, man. I know that people be like, oh, everybody say they real. Yeah. But I swear. <laughs> I ain't today. I'm talking to nobody. You know, people say they're real. Hey, you know, I don't know the guy. I just keep <laughs> it moving up. or whatever. Yeah. Cause but, look, I ain't gonna lie. I could be a fan of your music all day. That don't mean you're a real nigga. Feel what I'm saying? So it's different strokes for different folks. Speaking yeah. on that, like a lot of artists portray themselves as gangsters, big time drug dealers. Like, do you think it's important to stay true to who you are as an artist? I feel like. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I feel like it's it's to me. I feel like it's 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 good to stay who you is, but you can always make a song in another lane with another motherfucker who ain't true. Like who? Like let's just say I'm a, I'm a D boy type motherfucker, hip hop rapper. You feel me? From the streets, trap trap rapper type shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And uh, say Millie, say Millie, a good a good rapper. But he's a hippie type rapper. You feel me? He got a whole another hippie crowd to him. You feel me? Okay. But I make music with him. You feel me? I make music with him to get his crowd over to what I'm doing, to get him, to get my crowd over to what he's doing. You feel me? But we ain't the same people. Right. You feel me? Because we got a whole different lifestyle. But it's like, that's, that's, I'm staying me, but I'm switching over with him. To do do music, music, to reach out to different people. I, I can I can like if I know if I know you lying about what you said. Not not even that. It, like if you got a whole different crowd, then I I, I I can vibe with you. If I know you ain't no real like no real street nigga or you ain't really about that, because it, it ain't about you being that. It's about the music. Right. You feel me? But I ain't gonna try to hang with you or shit, cause I know you ain't. Doing what I ain't, you feel right. me? You ain't cut the like I'm of, cut. Yeah, so I ain't gonna try to, I ain't gonna try to put you in situations with me either, cause I know you ain't cut like I'm cut. So I gotta stay my distance and hang with people who cut like I'm cut. Right. You feel me? And stay myself, no matter what what goes on. And stay me. And rap about shit. Me mm -hmm. and what goes on with me. So what's your opinion on that white line? Um, what was the question again, man? <laughs> artists portraying themselves as somebody they're not. Like, do you think artists just rap about they self? Like, yeah, like, definitely be yourself, man. I don't even like artists who ain't they self. I don't even give them a time of day to do a regular with them or nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't like artists who ain't they self, man. Be yourself, please, you know? Right. That's how I, I love you to come around me being authentic, you know what I'm saying? Right. Being truthful, being honest, being you, relax, be comfortable, you know what I'm saying? So, anybody who try to be something they not, man, I might, them type of motherfuckers made me think you a tail, so, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, because you're trying to portray an image. Right. You feel me? So, I can't trust you. Right? Yeah. So now you make me think you a Because you lying in the gate. You, know you lying to yourself, so you lying in the gate. So, right. how can I trust you? You lying to your motherfucking self, how can I trust you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of believe in your life because your ram sound mighty good. And yeah. my, on my opinion on that, it's like, it's okay to 
rap about something that you're not about if it's not going out to the masses because a lot of people are influenced by music they look up to different artists so how can you say that you the number one trapper and you ain't even sold Trap a bottle shit. of water or anything you feel right. me mm -hmm. and people Fact. is really setting themselves up for failure believing in something that they hear exactly yeah so, and, and that's what i tell people be you if you rapped about if you went to college and you were rapping you rap about going to college how your life was on the fucking dorm going to class or whatever ain't nothing wrong with being who you are you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to be who you sure. is, man. If you ain't no trapper, you ain't no trapper, man. Right, just be you. Just be you, man. You know Shout out to St. Millie, too, man. I don't look down on motherfuckers if they ain't no motherfucking... There's some other than I ain't. You know what I'm saying? If they... if they, I don't look down on no motherfucker. You just know, whatever good. you are, you are, bro. I salute you. Keep doing you. You feel All right. Just be you. White Life, you got a song on White Christmas titled Mayweather. Did you actually go to the Mayweather fight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back to what we were saying. I went to two Mayweather fights, actually. Okay. I went to the 49th and old fight and the 50th and old fight. I, when he fought Mayweather, I mean, uh, McGregor. The music is authentic. Uh. <laughs>